Welcome back. Looking for some fun ways to start off the new year? Guess what? Don't worry. This January has plenty of fun events for you to check out and attend. Telling us more about what's happening here around the Duke City, we are joined by our very good friend, Laura Brockway from Visit Albuquerque. And kicking off 2024, Happy New Year, Laura. Thank you. Happy New Year to you. So. Thank you so much. Yeah, <laughs> and, and that's what we look forward to is, you know, 12 times, if not more, throughout the year. We have you here with us. You yes. tell us what to do, what to check out. Exactly. Keeping us entertained. It's my resolution this year to come 12 times, so yes. There you go. See you. We'll See help, you then. <laughs> we'll help you fulfill that. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> so starting off, it's cold. You know, we talked a little bit here about the uh, the Ice Wolves and El Paso Rhinos hockey, right? Yeah. So this is super cool. If you haven't been to an Ice Wolves game, they are so much fun. Um, the, the stands are usually packed. It is the only junior hockey team in the entire state of New Mexico. Mm. Um, and January 5th through the 7th, they are taking on the El Paso Rhinos, uh, which is great because, you know, El Paso is not that far away. So the stand should be super duper packed. Um, so definitely come check out some fantastic fantastic hockey from some amazing talent up at the Outpost Ice Arenas. Yes. Highly recommend it. So There you go. It looks like a fun time out there. Yes. And of course, within uh, a week or two, we are going to be uh, for the uh, having the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. holiday on Monday to commemorate his uh, birthday, but that also has the March in the Parade to go along with it, right? Yes. Yeah. So this is super uh, a great way to celebrate Dr. King's legacy. Um, on January 13th, there is going to be a march that starts at um, Martin Luther King and University and goes all the way down to Civic Plaza. And then at Civic Plaza, there's going to be a ceremony to commemorate his legacy as well. Um, and there isn't just this uh, celebration. If you want to celebrate him in a different way, there's also a breakfast on January 15th and special church services at various churches throughout the city um, on January 14th. So there is at least one way to celebrate his legacy throughout the city uh, in whatever way that, that pleases you. So Exactly. And again, uh, as organizers, Organizers have always said it's usually a day on, not a day off, that you want to really take the time and, and honor Dr. King and his life and his legacy. So, mm -hmm. exactly. uh, moving on to this here, Albuquerque, Albuquerque Comic Con. Yes, yeah, so this is super cool. It takes place every January at the Albuquerque Convention Center. This year it's taking place January 19th through 21st. So if you have an old cosplay that you haven't brought out in a while, now is the time to do it. Um, it's a really great experience. It takes over pretty much the whole convention center. There is speakers, uh, there's fantastic vendors, local and not so local vendors. So should be really great and a great way to kind of network with people with the same interests as you. So Any cosplays you're going to be breaking out for that? Laura. Not any new ones. Um, <laughs> it takes so long to make them, so maybe an old one. But. There you go. Only but a goodie, but it still works. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so we also have uh, Bands of Enchantment season three red carpet premiere, right? Yeah, so Bands of Enchantment is this really great show, um, PBS show that was filmed in Albuquerque. Um, the second season recently won an Emmy, which is super cool. And the third season premieres on January 19th at the Chemo. Um, red carpet premiere. This show is centered all around live music, so they will um, highlight local artists artists and also artists not from uh, New Mexico. They'll bring them to Albuquerque. They had them perform a live performance and uh, interview them. And then the show is just all about that. So if you've ever wanted to walk the red carpet, this is the time to do it. Um, it's a free event on January 19th at the Chemo. There you go. And we love that you're here for, that you're here for so many reasons, of course. But to explain this to us, the New Mexico Brick Convention. Yeah, so this is great. Um, if you're a Lego fan, this is ah, for you. Yes. I don't know if you are, but um, January 20 through 21st at um, Expo New Mexico, all of these Lego fans are coming together uh, to see these impressive builds and to network with other Lego lovers. Um, so you can come uh, if you know if this is a hobby you do on the side. Definitely come. Uh, you know, meet other people who love this hobby just as much as you do, and honestly, see some really great uh, builds, which I think will be awesome. So, so many cool creations, no doubt, going to be part of that. Laura, where do we go for, uh, to find more information? Um, ABQ365.com. Awesome. Laura Brockway, thank you so much for getting us started on the right foot now for January. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank yep. you so much.